Hey everybody, Jace Allen here from Rum Runner Guitars, back in the Guitar Dungeon. And today I'm doing another quick revision on the SG body uh, contour cutouts for Vetrica Spire. Uh, we've been having some issues with a tool mark where the 3D contours sort of start and stop. And so I've done a little bit of digging and a little bit of messing around. And I think I have something that uh, will make uh, sort of the finished product look a lot better and, and require less manual sanding and finishing. So let's get to it. Okay, so if you remember in our last quick tutorial, what we did was we took this sort of cross-section profile and we swept it between these two rails. And we had this type of shape and then we had another shape with a lot steeper, uh, lot steeper angle. It was more like something like this. Okay, well as it turns out we don't even need that. So that's gone. We don't even need that. What we're going to do is we're going to create another set of rails, but they're going to be just a little bit bigger. They're going to be a little bit farther out from the edges. And basically what that does is it pushes your 3D contour out farther so that there's almost like a margin. So that on the outside, that margin will get cut away and you'll have a nice uh, smooth edge. And then on this side, I'll show you uh, what we're going to do. We're going to create a little flat spot on top of this cross section and then we're going to raise everything up a little bit and then you'll see that it that it will almost eliminate that tool mark so what we're doing is we're coming in more gradually this time with the tool and then it's even going to create your your ends here were a little messed up in the uh, the start and stop were a little messed up in the in the last one and so this will this will fix that also Okay, so I've got my rails here. I'm going to turn off the outline. So we just have our rails. I'm just going to do the top top two again like I did before. Okay, so now you got two. Okay, two separate. Okay, so now we come back over here to join, or uh, excuse me, to offset. And I think you want to go outwards on this one. Nope, that's inward. It's, yeah, it's strange because... It can be kind of confusing. You would think that that would be inward would be here, not here, but apparently it thinks, okay, so we're doing it, we're doing eighth inch offset. So basically it just creates a new, a new line. And then here, I think this one, now we need to do outward offset. Yep. Yeah, okay. So what you've done is you've created two new lines to sweep between. So you could actually even get rid of these if you wanted to. But I, I usually move stuff to another layer just in case I need it. So let's bring the outline back in. And then what you're going to want to do is see where these, there's a huge gap here. But you, wanna, you want these to, to meet the outline. And actually what I ended up doing was, if you click here, you notice there's a lot of nodes. We're going to remove some of these. We're going to cut vector. We're going to do the same thing here, right about there, cut vector. Because basically these curves are made up of, on this particular uh, file that I got from the PDF uh, off of Electric Herald, they're made up of, these arc, arcs are made up of a bunch of straight lines. But we want to, it, for this end part, we want to create a nice three-point arc. So we're going to come right about there and you want your point your end point to to meet okay see how these these two end points meet and then we we need to stitch you know join these together so we'll join them so it's a and then this one's got a little bit of a uh, hard angle there so we'll come out a little bit farther there <clears throat> okay 
So then this point, you actually want to push out a little farther. Because I found that if this point is out, like right about there, whoops, it'll be cleaner. It'll, it'll like start out here and then come in. And so it'll make this, the beginning of this arc a lot cleaner. Okay, so that should be out quite a ways out. Okay. Okay, and then you do the same thing on this side. We're gonna we're gonna cut these vectors off a little ways so that we can insert a new three point curve, which will be easier to work with and cleaner. And we're gonna come right about there that side. Actually, that should probably go up farther. <clears throat> I think we should go up farther because we want this curve to be nice and easy, nice and gradual. So we're going to come up here and cut a little bit more. Okay, because we want to we want to come in right about I think it's right about there. So now we can grab our arc tool. And we're going to end outside of. And we can bring this in. So that's the nice thing about the three point arc is when you want to move beginning and end points. Okay, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty smooth. We want to make sure these two are joined. <clears throat> okay, then we do the same thing here. And we're going to want to come outside of the to here. Snap. See, and then that's that's pretty good. That's a pretty good smooth arc. We'll join these two. Okay, so this falls outside and that falls outside. And see how this is where your body contour is going to cut. And so your 3D contour will actually bleed out of there. And so when this cuts, it'll have a nice uh, sharp edge to it. Okay. So then another thing we want to do is our, our body thickness is an inch, almost an inch and three eighths. So we're going to do, we're going to create a box. Because we want this shape to be exactly the, the thickness of the um, blank, the material. So one, that's pretty good. Three, it's supposed to be one and three, 1.34, but that should get us there. And then we're going to take our old cross section shape. And we're going to, first of all, we'll make this a little steeper. And then we're going to make it the right height. And then we want to create a ledge, a flat ledge up on top, just a little bit of one. And then redraw your leg. Okay. So then this becomes our new profile. Get these guidelines out of the way. So this is your, this is half a year. And that's, this line might actually be a little, little steep. But anyway, for the, for the sake of this, it's, it should be okay. Okay, so, so you got this little little ledge here that's flat. That's going to be up here. It's going to be the flat spot. And then this is going to be your angle. So now we just do what we did before. 
which is to select the outside first, then the inside. We go to modeling and we go to create shape by sweeping. Use selection. And now see this sometimes happens. I haven't been able to show it yet, but see the arrows are going two different directions. You want the arrows to be going in the same direction. So you right click on this one and go reverse rail. See now the arrows are going in the same direction. Because when it sweeps, if they're going if the arrows are going in two different directions, one part of the contour will sweep this way, one part will sweep that way, and it'll actually twist your cross section. <clears throat> so now you've got both of these going the right way. And now we want to come over here, select vectors to, to use for your cross section. You want to sweep between spans. You do not want to scale cross section. That'll really mess things up. <clears throat> And then you want to click this and like we did with that real steep angle cross section that we're not going to use anymore you start way in here and like i said you want to make sure this red dot corresponds with the outside dot which it does and then you just want to sweep you just want to add a few sort of waypoints for your cross sections to sweep just to get these angles correct so that it will follow that contour the right way. Okay, and then you just do all the way down into the small part. And we'll do one more, what the heck. Okay. So there you go. There's your there's your rails. Hit apply. You can see it's a nice clean shape. Hit start new component. You can see the ledge, the little the little ledge here is this real light spot. And then you can see how the end of the shape is bleeds out. So this is where your cut line is going to be for the body. So we'll we'll throw that tool mark or tool path in right now so you can see that. Oh, I actually have one in there. I was messing around. I'll, oops. Delete. And delete. Okay. So we'll click on that. Tool path. 1.34 is our material thickness. Model thickness exceeds material thickness. That happens sometimes. Um, and it is a little bit bigger. So we can just set it to 1.34. That's fine. Um, usually it's a good idea to keep your, your model and when it set, when it talks about your model, it means this 3d contour. And so basically because we didn't get this exactly 1.34 inches, it's complaining. So you just force it to be the right thickness. See now your model thickness 1.34. Okay. So we're good there. Okay. So we go outline. Oops. Calculate. Says, oh, you're going to cut through. Yep, we know. We don't care. It looks like I have some open geometry here. I'm not sure why, but that's okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's still cut. So now you want to come in here to your contour. Click that. And then do 3D rough. Calculate. Close that. 3D tool, uh, 3D finish. Calculate. I always reset preview, preview all sides. Okay. So now you can see you've got, well, actually, let's delete this. Move that. Okay. So you, as you can see, this is a really nice clean edge. Really nice. And then we've got a way better, there's no tool marks where the tool starts and stops here or back here. See how nice and clean that is compared to the one we did uh, the other day? Let's turn it around so you can see it. I keep forgetting that my picture's down there. 
There you go. So see how nice that looks. We'll give it a, a mahogany. <clears throat> there we go. Now it looks like an SG. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so there you go. There's a quick quick one to sort of explain how to get that a lot nicer and we're we're only using one cross section. We don't have to use those other cross sections. So it really works out a lot nicer. But I think this is way better. It's a lot better than our first attempt. I think uh this is going to make uh things a lot easier and create a lot less manual work. And we can apply that to the Stratocaster uh, design too. Then you should have a better, a better uh, contour, a better shape, and a smoother, smoother cut. So there you go, uh, Jace Allen, Rum Runner Guitars, and uh, tune in next time. Thanks.